Right, good morning and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make a Sri Lankan, traditional Sri Lankan curry called Kukul Mas, K-U-K-U-L-M-A-S. Um, and there's all the ingredients all lined up. So let's get chopping. Right here, so what we're going to do firstly is put some oil in this pan and then we're going to pop some curry leaves, some cinnamon sticks and some cardamom pods. So I've just put some virgin, extra virgin olive oil in there. Let that heat up and then we'll come back. Okay, before we add these into the oil, now these cardamom pods here, just... Just open them up, or split them, um, because it's what's in the middle that we want. Right here, so that's the, those bits and pieces you can see in there, that's the uh, cardamom, um, the insides of the cardamom pods, and we're just going to add these two cinnamon sticks, I've broken them up slightly. Um, and then, oh, that gave me a fright. <laughs> Probably should be in the blooper reel, but I know you'll get <laughs> you'll get quite a lot of fun out of watching me jump. Right, so here's the leaves, the curry leaves. Now they're going in. So we'll just sauté them for a bit, then we'll come back and put some more ingredients in. Right, now in with our red onion. I've just taken the pan off the stove because it's quite loud. <laughs> and um, quite often when I'm filming and putting stuff in, you can't hear anything I'm saying. So there's the onion. I'm just going to prepare the dry ingredients and then we'll come back and add those and the garlic. Whoops, forgot about the um, ginger. Pop that in too. <laughs> right, so now in with our garlic. And we have a teaspoon of turmeric. Half a teaspoon of red chilli flakes, a teaspoon of paprika and two teaspoons of garam masala. So let's put those in. Stir them round for just a wee bit. And for about one to two minutes, just until you can really smell those aromatics coming out. In danger of sticking, so we will just add a little bit more extra virgin olive oil to stop that sticking. Right, then we're going to add a couple of tablespoons. Well, three heaped teaspoons of tomato paste and once that's had a couple of minutes we'll add our tomatoes and here we go oops right here now here's our half a can of tomatoes, but not too many, we don't want to overdo the tomato flavour. And now I'm just going to turn that down while I chop my chicken up. Just combine it first. Oh, that smells gorgeous, really does. Right. Now I've chopped up my chicken. So these are chicken thigh. 
Now, most occasions when I'm doing curries or stews or anything like this, anything where the chicken's going to be cooking for a long time, you want to make sure it's thigh meat, not breast, because breast will just dry out, basically. So we're just going to cook these and brown these about 20 minutes to get that chicken right. Then we're going to taste it, season it, serve it with some rice and roti. Uh, no, we're not. <laughs> we're going to. <laughs> we're going to add some coconut milk. <laughs> oh dear. Right, and there we are. I've just put in half a can of coconut milk. Um, and at this stage, I'm going to turn it down and just let simmer because. This is quite a broad based frying pan. So around about 10 minutes and we're all done. So it's time to put the rice on. One more thing I'm going to do before I walk away for 10 minutes or so is taste it. Okay, so that we haven't put any salt in so little wonder. It needs salt. Let's um, stir that through and taste it again. Let's get a different spoon. Alright, let's check it out now. Oh, that's beautiful. It's just a little bit more. And um, I decided to leave out the green chilies for fear that it was going to be end up being too hot. Um, and I was right to do so because just that half teaspoon of red chili flakes actually giving it all the heat that it needs. So um, let's have another little okay that's perfect. Give it 10 minutes and then we'll be back. Right so here we are I'm about to plate up. So here's our roti there and our rice and zoom across to the stove and there's our chicken curry. Okay, let's get plated up. And there you have it, my friends. Beautiful, beautiful curry. I'm just gonna steal some. And some rice. And some Italian flat parsley. <laughs> just bundle that up. Let's have a taste. Mm. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right. I'm going to get stuck in and I'll catch you on the next recipe.